What's up, Lore Masters? Today we'll be breaking down the trailer for Star Trek Discovery. A bit late, I know, but I wanted to give it some time for me to digest everything that occurred within the video itself. So now that I've had that time, let's just get into it. In the first image, we see a crash-landed Michael Burnham, though we can't be sure what planet she's on just yet. It would appear she reaches for a pack that landed right next to her, having her weapon, communicator, and I'm guessing that's birth control? Maybe earbuds, we don't know at this point. The next montage shows her changing in looks and clothing, as well as the background shifting showing the passage of time. There's a voiceover that indicates that the time is changing as we're watching, and I honestly think this could be deceptive editing, as it's unclear what she's looking for and or waiting for. While it seems to indicate she's trying to find out what happened to the planet, perhaps this happens later in an episode and she's researching the Federation's fall. Oh, and just a side note. Frack me, she is so attractive when she's not full Michael Burnham, my god. The next scene we observe is her and someone else fighting off someone or some group of people. There isn't a lot to add here, it looks like things are caving in, and while they are seen fighting a group with Andorians in the next scene, we can't be sure if it's connected. On that topic though, in the next scene, she would be fighting with her friend again, some group that has Andorians. Given the prominence of the Andorians, it's possible that they are going up against an organization that mainly has Andorians in the leadership role. But we can't really be sure, as other scenes will show them fighting other diverse groups with Andorians in the background, so it could just be an organization that has Andorians and not Andorians running that organization. Though, given what we see here, we do have confirmation that the Mega Man Federation Alliance did go through, which is always a positive thing when they connect continuity. In the next scene, Michael and her new man toy are traversing the local area, and if I had to guess, this is probably before the combat we just saw. The man states that she is a ghost and indicates that the symbol on her chest is that of decades past. I'll be a bit honest here. I know what they are going for, but in theory, the Federation could still be around. The insignia she's wearing and her uniform are from the 23rd century. By the 31st, it would be drastically outdated. Technically, if a soldier that held from the United States Army just after the War of Independence appeared, he would not be wearing the same gear as what we see in the 21st century, and one might refer to him as a ghost as well. Obviously, this isn't what they're going for, but still. We have a random image of Saru and Tilly opening a door and walking in, in either survival or civilian gear, but no context. Moving on. And then we have a voiceover with someone saying that an office was watched every day with a hope that his sacrifice wasn't in vain. No idea who the guy is, but then we get the reveal. This image is pretty popular and one a lot of YouTubers like to use because we gotta get them views, y'all. A lot has been made of the image, but I'm a bit skeptical. While it's possible the new flag is reflective of a mass change, I honestly think it was just a simplified image. If we watch Starfleet and their symbols as they morph, they seem to become more streamlined. That's what this could mean, but it wouldn't get us to that 10 minute mark on YouTube, now would it? Unfortunately, we simply don't have enough context to parse out what is going on. In theory, this could actually be the current Federation. Perhaps the Federation has become evil and only represents the six major powers with the head of them being the Andorians. I don't know, but that's the point. No one does. It could just be a simplified image, or maybe it actually has significance. It wouldn't be Discovery if they didn't have a great plot that would be ruined by the Burnham hero worship with the man saying that Michael is their one and only hope. I mean, she is. Honest to God, the Clara of the Trek universe. We have Burnham in the pool of symbiotes for the Trill, though we don't know why. It's possible that she's going to be joined with the other symbiotes or they're gonna to talk to her in some way. I know a lot of people will get upset about that, but it did happen in TNG with Riker and that's the original canon of the Trill, so eh. And then we have pictures of Trill in case you're an idiot and don't know where she is. There's a reunion with very little to add. Yay, we're all together again, I guess. In the next image, we have a voiceover with Saru, who's talking about the name of the ship being Discovery and how it has brought them into the future. He continues on by saying that they are going to change the future and an image of the spore drive being attacked and the people being taken by surprise is shown. Which brings up a thought, is someone trying to get the spore tech so they can travel back in time? I mean, I know the Andorians are shown as evil, but what if they're trying to steal this tech to travel back in time to save the Federation and to save Starfleet? It could be a twist. In the next scenes, we see more fighting with Burnham, Georgiou, and Co. 
Then we have random woman who no idea who she is in the Jeffries tube, and I'm not sure where she is at the moment, but it doesn't look like the Discovery. And then it moves into the same group, but as I stated before, not with the Andorians in front, but in back. They also use the same beaming effects as the Discovery, even though we know that's not used anymore. Unless the technology regressed, and we'll discuss that in a moment. We finally see Saru finishing his voiceover, and he's on the bridge of the Discovery in the same civilian clothing as before. Did they do some investigation? and discover the fate of the Federation, or what's going on here. More combat and fighting in locations that are pretty hard to make out, though it looks like some are civilian areas as well as some on the Discovery. We know Georgiou is back, and a question, where will you go, is answered with wherever the answers are. And that's about it, a trailer that is generally telling us that we're now in Star Trek Andromeda. I mean, unless it's an evil federation, but I'm more guessing it's Star Trek Andromeda. We'll see a regression of technology and with Starfleet gone, just a darker place. But all of these are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below.